Hi, this is Lee Ellis with another installment of Leading with Honor Coaching. Well, we're winding down another year and we're approaching the holiday season. Most of us are starting to think about gifts and gift giving, and that's a great idea, in fact. And I hope you'll be lavish in your gift giving, and I want to give you some ideas today on how to do that. I don't want you to be a Scrooge. No, we want to be lavish, and especially the gift that I'm talking about today. I'm talking about positive feedback, affirmation, encouragement. We all need it so much, and I'll tell you why. First of all, it really meets some deep desires and deep needs that we all have to feel valued and important, to know that we're meaning, uh, bringing meaning, making a difference in our world. And you as a leader and as a friend, you have the opportunity to give that gift. So let's talk about three ways and three types of uh, giving in that area that you could do. Well, first of all, is we all have some mindsets from the past, some pain, some shame, or just the way we view things that worked in the past that really doesn't work now because it's not based upon reality. It's based upon something we grabbed a hold of that really is not grounded. So as you as a person, as a leader, you can help people to break loose from those lies and mindsets that don't work by seeing them in a positive way and showing them how they're maturing, they're growing, and letting them know that they are really capable and confident people and when you do that, you add value to them and you give them confidence to move ahead and leave some of that stuff behind. You get freedom from it. Present. As we look at the present, look around you at what they've done recently. What's really meaningful? The project they worked on, the report they did, the briefing they gave, their talents and how they used that to contribute, something specific uh, in the workplace and how we're all better for it, for the work you did. Thank you very much. It could be very simple, one or two sentences, but let them know that you noticed the quality of their work and how it contributed to the mission. And you do that with a smile and positive energy. That's how you do it. And then finally, the future. The Christmas of the future, you might say. We've had Christmas past, Christmas present, now Christmas of the future. We're talking about their potential and you can speak into their lives where you've seen talents that are very special. Maybe they're a good speaker uh, on their feet up in front of a group. Maybe they're a good planner, a good organizer, building systems, whatever it is that you can see a real talent that is really a, their genius. You wanna call that out and let them know you see that and that's real potential for their future. It's so important because when you do those three things, you have really uh, reinforced that person in some areas where they have great needs. And they know that. They feel more valuable. They feel more confident. They feel more powerful. And that's exactly what you want. You want confident people that feel empowered to do big things. Well, the good, the good news is that you're going to come out a winner too because you're actually going to get something back. And you're not giving to get. But I can tell you, First of all, you're going to be seen as more authentic, more generous, more trusting, um, more uh, transparent, and the kind of person that people like to be around, they like to follow. And secondly, you're going to love this, especially if you're results-oriented, you're going to get better results. They're more energized. They have a more positive attitude. They have more confidence in what they can do. And so they're going to perform better. And if they perform better, probably the people around them and that work for them and on their team, they're probably going to perform better also. So all of this has a cumulative effect of really just lifting everybody up. It's a gift that keeps on giving year round. And the more you do this, realistically, and I'm not talking about making things up. I'm not talking about just throwing out praise like that. I'm talking about being specific. And that's one of your responsibilities as a leader. So be intentional about that. I know it's going to be hard for some of you. I coach very senior leaders in this, okay? So it's an, I know it's not going to be easy for a lot of you, but I'm telling you, there's a huge payoff in every way that you can think of, and it doesn't cost anything except your own courage and your own uh, initiative to be intentional in doing it. So give the gift that keeps on giving. Don't be a Scrooge. And also, this year, why don't you use Christmas time and holiday time and Hanukkah time as to give a gift for your friends is give them a link to our monthly coaching. We write a blog every month. We do this video coaching every month on a leadership area. 
and we'd love to expand that. And I hope that you will think about who you could share, you could share this with that could enjoy it and benefit from it also. So give the gift. God bless you all.